Our current artist we're studying is Renee Magritte. These skybirds are an inspiration for our next art project, where we're going to create different backgrounds of various types of skies. You are going to create a contrasting piece of art that has one sky pattern inside the bird and a landscape featuring a different type of sky in the background. Our skies should contrast similar to how Magritte had a sunny day with clouds in his bird and a dark nighttime sky in the background. Here I'm just demoing a few different background ideas. So you're going to just make one pattern for your background, not six like I'm doing here. But this gives you some more ideas like nighttime sky, daytime sky, rainbows, grass, maybe more sunsetty colors or galaxy colors. And these are all things that you can go back and add more details when they're dry. You're going to make your decision what type of sky you're going to have. And you're going to paint it using the materials. So you'll need a paper with your name on the back, placemat, egg carton with paint, a brush, a water cup, and a paper towel. After you paint your background, we'll set it on the rack to let it dry. Here's my finished background. I'm going to create a rainbow bird. When your paper is dry, the next class, we're going to pick which bird silhouette we're going to use. And if you want to, there might even be room to make multiple birds. So you can begin by just trying out some of the different bird tracers and seeing which one you like the best or which one picks up the most color. And then what you'll do is you'll turn your paper over and trace that bird on the back of your paper. Some of the tracers are a little thin, so in order to trace You'll want to creep and crawl your fingers up to the different parts of the paper like this. That way you ensure that you're getting a very good tracing. We're doing it on the back of the paper so that our lines don't show when we cut our bird out like this. All right, let's cut it out next. There, you can flip over your bird and see how your pattern turned out. I would save these beautiful painted scraps for another project. And remember, if you do have room, you could always get more than one bird cut out or even part of another bird that could be in your picture in a different spot. The second element of this picture is going to be the background. The background is going to be a landscape, so some picture of outside Maybe it's over the ocean, maybe it's in town, maybe it's out in the country. You need to have a horizon line, so that's going to separate the ground from the sky. Could be a straight horizontal line, or it could be hills. You can even add additional hills up over in the background if you'd like. For adding details, you want to add just a few to give a sense of what the space is going to be. You draw those on, and then you can begin to color. I just put in a few simple lines for my sketch and some space where the trees are going to be. Now, because my bird is so bright, I think my background is going to be a little bit darker to show that it's stormy in my space. So paint your space carefully, remembering to wash your brush as you switch colors and get all of the areas painted in nice and neat. When I'm painting my trees, I'm using kind of a dabbing motion with my brush to add a little bit of texture into my trees. And you can see with the grass, I blended a few different colors in. My background's gonna be stormy, and that will contrast with the really bright rainbowy colors of my bird. And so I'm adding some black in to darken my greens so they look a little darker. Think about texture when you're painting your picture and how you can add texture on to make it look more realistic. Remember about adding value and adding shadows also help make things look more realistic. 
I'm just finishing up my painting. So I have a stormy sky and everything under the clouds is pretty dark. And at this point, I'm just trying to fill in the white space. So I'm slowing my brush down. And you can see I'm changing the direction of my brush. So the clouds, the brush kind of swirled up. For the sky underneath, it's kind of going at a diagonal line. And I want to show that it's raining. So I think to show that it's raining, I'm going to clean my brush off. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to grab a little white. And I think while it's still wet, I'm going to do some dashed diagonal lines. And they can go onto the grass. If the rain is falling pretty hard, then it's falling at an angle. And it will be coming right out of these big old clouds. So think about what you can add on your background. So everybody's background is different. So there's all sorts of details and textures that you can add. When this is finally dry, we will glue our bird onto the background. You can decide where on the background you want to put it. And again, if you want more than one bird, you can absolutely have more than one bird. So good luck working on your contrasting Magritte paintings.